Hey, what's going on guys? So today I just want to do a quick update on my channel. I know I haven't done a video in quite a while. Um, I really do want to get back to making more videos. It's something I like to do and I like uh, making content for you guys even though I don't have that many people subscribed to my channel. I think I have like a little bit over 200. Um, but <clears throat> I just want to do a quick update video and uh, tell you guys what's been going on. Check out my new PC build setup thing. That's a sneak peek of it over there. But, uh, so, some of you might know, uh, recently I had, sorry it's a little dark, can't really see it that good, but uh, recently I had an Alienware M14X laptop, and this thing was just not cutting it for me anymore. Um, just outdated, pretty much, you know, everything in it. The processor was kind of slow, you know, it was only 2 gigahertz and then 2.4 turbo, which really isn't that fast. Uh, I'd say with Turbo Boost nowadays for gaming, you got to get something that's at least at least three gigs um, to really get you know pretty good speeds. Um, the graphics card in this was a GT 555M, and that's if you guys know anything about PC gaming, you'll know that's really really old. I think this computer was made in like 2011. Um, I bought it and used it for three years. <coughs> I think I bought it in 2012. Yeah, and then used it through uh, 2013, 14, and 15. So, uh, it did me good for about a year. And then I really realized that it was just outdated. It was already a year old when I bought it. And then it was two years old after I used it for a year. And it was just really just getting to the point where uh, it just wasn't able to run any games that I wanted to play on any like kind of good settings at all. I always had to run them on medium or low. Uh, I remember uh, playing DayZ with my friends, Arma the Arma 2 not mod, not the actual game, because the actual game like wouldn't barely even run. The frames were so horrible. But um, even the Arma 2 mod of DayZ on the lowest settings I'd get, like 15 to 20 frames on average, and it was just absolutely horrendous. It's pretty much unplayable. Um, so definitely do not buy one of these. If you're going to buy an Alienware laptop, buy them off eBay. The manufacturer refurbished ones and buy the be it by the um not the x versions the newest like ones that just came out not too long ago and make sure it's the r3 version because that's the newest ones they have and just buy like the alienware 17 and the alienware 15 they have really really good specs <clears throat> pretty much as good as my new pc over there um and you can get them for like 1100 1200 which is i paid almost 900 dollars for this thing and it's complete crap so don't waste your money like I did <laughs> just be careful what you're buying um, so anyway let's go over here to the actual computer the new setup here so it's an I buy power case uh, I think it's a uh, thing opens up right here I think it's yeah the uh, NZXT uh, model and it's just like all white pretty much got some like black like lines here and stuff um, it looks really nice, really sleek design, I like it a lot. And uh, if you watch custom builds, they have like budget builds that YouTubers do. Uh, you know, like build this, you know, 2016 good gaming PC for, you know, a certain price, like 800,000, uh, not 800,000, but you know, $800, $1,000, $1,200, you know, stuff like that. And everybody says that this is one of the best cases that you can buy for like cooling and airflow. <laughs> And I can definitely see why it has huge vent up top here uh, that runs pretty much half the computer. And then uh, got this big vent down here. This is the intake fan there, and then the outtake back there. But yeah, so let's talk about my uh, new build here. So this is a Asus motherboard. I'm not exactly sure which motherboard. I'm sorry. Um, and then the processor is an Intel i5 co uh, quad core. I think it's the 642P. I believe that's what it is. It runs at 2.8 gigahertz and then 3.4 with Turbo Boost. And that's the fan on top of the CPU there. The RAM uh, it came with one stick of RAM, the red one, which is an 8 gig stick. And then I bought another pack. It was a 16 gig pack, so it was the two 
blue 8 gig ones you see there. I bought that, that was like $75 or something. Uh, I actually got this computer at Best Buy, which is, it's pretty, I'll, I'll talk about it, but uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Um, so I got 24 gigs of RAM in there right now running, which is more than enough. You only need like, you know, even eight's fine. 16 is what I would get a shoot for, like if I was somebody else trying to buy one. Um, but yeah, 24, more than enough. Um, it came with a GTX 960. I bought a 970. This is the super, super clocked version, the SSC. Um, they do make like four or five different versions of the GTX 970, so just um, be careful which one you buy. This was a $310 card, and like I said, this is all Best Buy prices, so you could probably find this shit uh, cheaper on eBay. I'm sure you can. But, um, <clears throat> came with the 960. My friend uh, was at Best Buy with me when I bought it. We took it home and then, you know, um, pulled off this case here and then took out the 960 and he bought it off me for 180 bucks. It's like a $200 card. So, uh, yeah, I was pretty happy with that. So I got $180 back right away. And then uh, we threw in the 970 and it's a complete beast. I love it. I'm probably going to overclock it a little bit. Um, so you can't really see it here, but behind this uh, part of the case here, there's the uh, two terabyte hard drive and uh, 350 or 300, uh, 200, my bad, 250 or like a 260 gig uh, SSD in there as well. So I got a SSD for the boot drive and a actual hard drive for the games and the storage and stuff, which I recommend anybody do. Like that's that's easily the best way to go. It allows your computer to be so much faster and ha still have the utility of the huge storage. Um, and it's pretty much just like an Alienware in terms of like the lights, you know, it just has like an LED strip down there and there's one uh, up here on this part. Uh, you can't see, it's like hidden behind there. But it just has, uh, I'm using my 40 inch right now as a monitor because I didn't feel like buying one. but. Um, yeah, it just has like right there the little cat symbol. Uh, you just go into there and it's just like the Alienware command center. You can change all these lights to like flash, pulse, and like, you know, make them whatever color in the rainbow you want. You can actually make the rainbow to like flash back and forth all the rainbow colors, which is pretty cool. Uh, and the power supply down there, lastly, it is a 500 watt power supply, which is enough to run everything that I need. I might later on uh, upgrade the graphics card, maybe like next year later sometime to like a, I don't know, 1080 or something. I'm not sure. It depends how cheap they are at the time. If they go down in price any. And I apologize for the uh, glass window here being a little bit dirty. It was like that when we took it out of the box and I just didn't feel like cleaning it. But I'm going to here sometime. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the build. It's a really, really nice computer. And uh, going back to the thing where I said I bought this at Best Buy, um, you're probably going to call me an idiot. Uh, anybody that buys PC uh, desktops would be like, you know, why the hell are you shopping at Best Buy for a fucking high-end gaming PC? Like, you're an idiot. Um, and I'll just tell you now that I was really surprised whenever we went in there and seen the selection that they had. Um, obviously, 90% of it was like complete garbage that you can't even use for gaming whatsoever unless you just plan on playing like fucking TF2 on like the lowest graphic settings possible um, <laughs> but seriously though uh, there's a couple of desktops there about let's say three of them that were actual viable gaming builds for um, desktops and they had like I think two laptops that were like actual real gaming laptops that you could get some decent performance out of um, so yeah, this computer, uh, before I bought the 970 graphics card and the pack of the 16 extra gigs of RAM, this computer by itself was $900, $899. Um, so after I bought the GTX 970 and the 60, or the 16 gigs of RAM, it was, I don't know, with tax it came to like thirteen hundred dollars and like sixty nine or eighteen I, I don't know it was like thirteen hundred and sixty nine dollars and like fifty seven cents or something like that 
um, cause the tax was ridiculous. The tax was like $87 alone, which is just crazy. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, for a review, I guess I would say. And my TV just went to sleep. Um, they also gave me a mouse and keyboard as well. I buy power. I gave my friend the mouse. Um, but yeah. Uh, for review, I'd say it's it's definitely really good. I just quickly installed Battlefield 3 and just cranked everything up on the highest settings possible and was getting like, you know, 90, 100 frames, you know, just ridiculous, way above 60. So it's it's really good. It's definitely worth the money. So if you go into your Best Buy and you are looking for a computer, uh, you know, don't don't doubt them just because it's Best Buy because I'm telling you what, man, it's... They seriously have some shocking builds in there that are better than what you would expect. So, yeah, it's a really nice computer. I love it so far. Downloading Arma 2 right now so I can start playing DayZ with my friend here in a couple hours. But, yeah, it's a really nice computer. And, yeah, like I said, if you're, just, if you're looking for one, definitely check out Best Buy. They have some pretty decent builds in there for an actual, like, good price that you can easily just buy uh, separate stuff if you wanna. If it doesn't have everything you want, you can always just buy separate stuff like there uh, before you get the PC um, or like after you get it or whatever, you know, and just throw in some extra modded shit. It's really not hard at all to install this stuff. I mean, you can look up a video tutorial on YouTube and you know, there's uh, 10,000 different videos out there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So I just want to say thanks to anybody that's watching and actually, you know, watch my content on my channel still. I really don't post uh, videos that often, but uh, I want to start posting some more, especially now that I have this and I can actually record PC games now, uh, you know, without lagging my fucking balls off. So, just really expect some more content coming from the channel. I'm not exactly sure, I'm not going to say like how much I'm going to be putting out or um, like how often because I really can't make any promises. I just graduated high school so I'm really not sure if I'm going to be going anywhere else uh, later on or not. But I'm going to try and make some gaming videos for you guys for sure so stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.